வணக்கம் பசங்களா வெல்கம் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ டு வீ நீட் தமிழ்நாடு வெல்கம் டு எபிசோட் த்ரீ வேர் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு கிராக் பயாலஜி ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி நைன்டி பர்சன்ட் ஆஃப் த ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் கீப் சேங் தட் பயாலஜி இஸ் அன் ஈஸி சப்ஜெக்ட் இட் இஸ் வெரி ஈஸி ஐ டு நாட் நீட் டு சால்வ் எம்சிக்யூஸ் ஐ டு நாட் நீட் லெக்சர்ஸ் ஐ டு நாட் நீட் ஷார்ட் நோட்ஸ் ஐ கேன் ஸ்கோர் ரீலி வெல் இன் பயாலஜி பட் வை டூ நைன்டி பர்சன்ட் ஆஃப் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் டோன்ட் ஆக்சுவலி ஸ்கோர் வெல் இன் பயாலஜி இஃப் யூ நோட்டிஸ் த மார்க்ஸ் ஆஃப் நீட் யூ வில் ஆல்வேஸ் நோட்டிஸ் தட் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் டு நாட் கெட் த்ரீ சிக்ஸ்டி அவுட் ஆஃப் த்ரீ சிக்ஸ்டி அண்ட் இட் இஸ் குவைட் ரேர் that majority of the students get that even though 99% of neat aspirant talks about how easy biology is and how difficult physics and chemistry is students that is because there are certain things that you are not doing it right so in this video let's try and understand what are the things that we are not doing it right and we need to fix those things to make our biology easy as well as the scoring subject because if you get 355 or 360 in biology that becomes actually a less workload for you to think about oh my god i need to get 180 on 180 in chemistry and i need to get 180 on 180 in physics you can actually you know do a little discount here and there for your marks if you get full marks in biology so in this video let's set it right that whatever gopika ma'am is telling in this video you're going to follow from today not even from tomorrow right now you're going to follow this and if you are following all these steps then make sure that you are going to get the marks that you deserve so students welcome all of you to we need tamil nadu if you haven't subscribed to the channel that means you're losing out on your need dream need dream because this channel has everything that requires okay it is like a one stop solution just like how you ask ai every single doubt of yours and every single problem of yours everything that a neat aspirant requires is going to be on this channel including lectures on a long run so i want all of you to subscribe to the channel without fail okay let's directly get into the video students first i'm going to break down a word called as micro annotation what is this micro annotation micro annotation means we notice the small things in our ncert textbook be it exceptions be it few hidden lines be it mcqs be it some words like because or let's say uh, you know been or let's say some words which can be connected later as assertion reason question or for you know explaining some reason. reasons that is called as micro annotation so if you look here use ultra fine margin notes where you mark exceptions hidden definitions sequence words like first then finally because okay maybe okay like that kind of words and data points that means years number of species uh, you know phylums examples all these are called as micro annotations that means small small things that you are going to annotate or write it down next to your ncert now i have taken a paragraph here and you can see i have used three different colors i am not sure how much it is visible on the screen for all of you but i have used three different colors where i have highlighted much before the actual flower is seen on the plant the decision that the plant is going to flower has already been taken place it's a very important line to understand that the decision of flower making is already been pre-planned by the plant okay they have already decided it now second highlighted word is several hormonal and structural changes these two have been colored in different colors to identify that plants have made the decision and they are also doing something hormonally and structurally to achieve that okay then you can see which will lead to differentiation further development of floral primordium this way i have done micro annotation with the use of different colors instead of writing it down so you can do this as well now in biology active recall is something that is very important so when you are doing active recall reading the entire ncert is not a solution many of the times i have seen students saying that ma'am i have done revision how reading ncert again yes you read ncert two times or three times but reading ncert every time as a revision technique is a failed technique and this is not what i told this is what many of the toppers told who has got 360 out of 360 they told that when i was doing revision i used to only see the side of ncert where i have written extra notes or i used to go through my short notes that used to be my revision because reading ncert used to be just like my brain is not registering anything i'm just like you know how you read a newspaper how you read a story book you're not grasping anything you're just reading through it that will not work in biology it will never work 
Now, students, the next most important thing is NCRT line to line question. Now, question mapping is very important. Why? Because after 2025, we noticed that even the small lines of NCRT could be converted into a question that a student cannot imagine. Many of the teachers also couldn't imagine. So, that is why it's very important that whenever you're going through a line, you ask question that, okay, wait, if I was to be NTA, how many questions can I create out of this paragraph? Now, let me break down an example for all of you. Build your own question bank, okay? Look here, we have a paragraph here, okay. Now, many of them will never think that bead on a string structure, that means your nucleosome under a microscope would look like a bead on a string structure. Many students would think that, okay, this cannot be a neat question. It's very simple. But look at a question that has come. What are those structures that appear as beads on a string in a chromosome when viewed under an electron microscope? Here they have given option nucleotides, nucleosome, base pairs and genes. Now, a student who knows the answer, will write nucleosomes. A student who has taken it very lightly will not write the answer or maybe even can write base pair, can write nucleotides, right? So that's why I'm telling, see, this is the, this is the line, but that line has been converted into a question. So every single line, ask yourself question. Here, one more question that you can ask. A typical nucleosome has contains how many base pairs? Okay, 200 base pairs. Okay, which are the amino acids, lysine and arginine? Like that, multiple questions you can make from a paragraph. So keep making your own question. As you're making question, just write the questions heading. You might be putting one how or wh any one word. Just add that word right in front of your top of the line itself. So that whenever next time you're studying, you notice that okay, I made a question out of it. I should be able to solve the question. Clear to all of you? Now NCRT cross-linking grid. This is very uh, a different thing that I would say. Uh, so students, sometimes what happens, like many a times when we are comparing plant physiology, human physiology, you notice that chemical coordination and your plant growth and uh, development has certain connections. Why? Because of hormones, right? And we know that there are functions that we have to learn. We have to learn about, you know, what these people are doing exactly, where these people are released from, when are these people releasing, after releasing, what are the, you know, consequences that we are facing. These are the few things that we study when it comes to hormones. Now, I have told a general structure, but there are a lot of times that you can make a tabular column and connect certain chapters. That is called as grid linking. Now, I will take an example here. I will show you an example. For everything, I put an example otherwise there's no point of me just coming here and telling you that this is this is this is I have to also give you an example so look here plant hormones and human hormones connection type and MCQ angle so I've taken a tabular column okay and look if you look here you can see auxin cell elongation growth uh, hormone bone elongation both are doing what growth stimulation okay MCQ point of view students they can ask you site of action they can ask you feedback loop they can ask you in case it is hyper that means overproduction is happening what are the problems that can be faced so like this you can interlink topics in biology and study this way what happens, let's say many mechanisms for that matter. You're writing glycolysis, you're writing Krebs cycle. At the same time, you can also write coagulation of blood, you can write breathing, you can write inspiration, you can write expiration. Like there are many things are there which are interconnected. So interconnecting topics, try to write it in a sheet of paper that whenever you feel like, okay, I'm forgetting this, you can go back and interconnect. That kind of chapter is the chemical coordination and your uh, plant growth and development because so many names are there for you to remember. So these things you can connect and study very, very well. Okay, so that is very important for your biology uh, when you're studying. Now, one more thing is students, one page visual analysis. Now, I've told you this before also. See, whatever happens, how to make short notes, I will definitely let you know. Whatever happens, you should try to make an entire chapter, be it genetics, which has 35 pages. You have to make it to three pages because you should know what are the things that is important for you. Now, yesterday when I made a short, uh, you know, about how to revise biology effectively, I told you very clearly, if I'm telling you one word, like you're sitting in my class, right now I'm telling you plasma. Can you remember everything about plasma? 50 to 55 percent is there, 90 to 92 percent is water, 6 to 8 percent is proteins, this many minerals are there. Are you able to remember everything? Can you remember all the proteins, fibrinogen, albumin, globulin? Are you able to remember? Are you able to remember their function? Are you able to remember the color of plasma? If you are able to remember all this, that means your knowledge or your concept knowledge is very, very clear. 
Correct. Now, students, too, for that, you should know what is important. When I'm telling plasma, I do not expect the student to write about body fluids and circulation starting introduction part. I only expect you to write exactly what is required. So, that is where notes making is coming in important. So, here, what you have to do is whenever you're making your one page visualization, I want you to keep these four things in mind. See, these strategies have taken a lot of time. You will be thinking that, okay, every day ma'am is coming and giving us one strategy. No, it is taking a lot of time to think, to put that into perspective, then to make a PPT out of it and then come here and explain it to all of you. So, I want all of you to appreciate this effort. Be with me throughout this journey and also make sure that your goal is achieved. It's not just, you know, subscribe and just, uh, you know, mute the notification and go sleep. I want you also to be like, okay, ma'am is coming every day. She's coming out with one, one thing for us. We also should give her something in return. What will you give me in return? Your marks. Your marks. When I come to Tamil Nadu, when I come to meet all of you, I want all of you to come out with flying colors. That ma'am, I got into my dream medical college. Thank you so much. Because such kind of a channel has never been there. Never ever been there. You go and search anywhere. Such a channel never existed. We have made it. So when we are making it, I want you also to be in that process. That when I am telling it, you should do it. You should do it. Okay. So look here, I want you to keep these four things in mind. What is it? Whenever you are making a one page note, red color should be for exceptions. Now in certain phylums like spongula, freshwater sponge, it is an exception. It should be in red color. Now, green color for processes, water canal system. It is a process where the water enters through the ostia, comes out through the osculum, uh, coanocytes are the spongocele, process in green color. Blue color for definition, you are writing about metagenesis, alternation of generation, write it in blue color. And then yellow color for the traps, that means you feel that, okay, this can come as a trap, like echinodermata has two uh, symmetry, bilateral as well as your radial symmetry. It is a trap. It is a neat trap. So that you should write it in yellow color. I do not want any of you to give me excuse that ma'am, I do not have time. Students, toppers have done it. They have made notes which are colorful and they are even selling their notes. So why can't you do it? You should do it. I am telling you how to do it. I am telling you what to write. Do it. I will give you my handwritten notes later but not now. If I give you now, no, you will be pampered. You will be extremely pampered that you will not do anything. So these are some of the most important things that you have to keep in mind for biology because biology there is no cut through strategy that you do this formula itself you will get the marks. No. You have to try and test many things then only it is going to work. So I hope this helped for all of you. Now when it comes to error log and uh, you know trap uh, tracker that means students you have to maintain a biology trap tracker for every silly mistake that you do. Many of the times what happened in biology, we make a lot of silly mistakes, certain terminologies, certain, uh, you know, uh, like example, convergent and divergent evolution. Many students make this the confusion. They never understand convergent, divergent. That time, those are trap. That means, that means it's a trap that you will fall into. So I want all of you to have a, just like how I told you, you should have an error book. In that error book, you should have all the mistakes that you are continuously making in biology. Silly mistake, uh, you know, confusions, all that should be written into one page, okay? Now, assertion reason students, here it is very important. You should at least solve 50 plus assertion reason questions per week. Why? Because you should know that if a question come like, if A is true, then B must be. That means you should automatically have a process that, okay, this option. That means 50-50 should be clear in assertion reason. If a student has confusion with four options of assertion reason, that student is going to get zero in that. It's confirmed. You can never clear assertion reason without knowing 50-50. So these are the few things that you, I want all of you to keep in mind. That is to have a trap book. We are not going to call it error book in biology, but we are going to call it a trap book. Why? Because there are small things that can put you into a trap and make you lose the marks. Okay. In physics, it's like, okay, I made this error, it's understood. But in biology, you will never even know that you made an error. You'll only know it once your marks come out that, oh no, this has become an error. Okay, so I hope all these techniques are going to help students. So please do subscribe to We Need Tamil Nadu. This channel is trying our level best, not just me. My entire team is trying level best to give you everything that is possible. Okay, so yes, uh, so episode 3 is done. So we are done with episode 1, 2 and 3. I hope all of you have seen it. If not, let me just show you the channel as well. This is the channel in case you people are not aware. Okay, so in this channel we have done, you can see 
uh, physics strategy has already gone it's just 15 minutes and 13 minutes and if you can spend that 15 to 13 minutes your precious 13 and 15 minutes you can maybe save an entire year of wasting time in these subjects okay and now you will also be able to see biology here so like this see i've also done most high weightage chapters i would say that look at this and start from these topics okay high weightage and students to cover backlogs this is one of the best videos that i've done for covering backlogs and many students have messaged me also telling that ma'am this is working really well so i want all of you to check that as well okay and this is for tamil nadu you know a syllabus comparison i'll be doing for physics as well very soon i didn't see much difference so we'll be doing that as well okay so yes check out the channel watch all the videos let me know in the comments how the videos are and also there's a lot of lot of lot of uh, academical shots as well best books for biology chemistry physics you can watch all these also and utilize from it okay so thank you so much for see uh, you know watching this video students thank you so much see you all in the next class till then do not forget to stay subscribed share this video with all your friends and also lots of love